That was Professor Mohammed al Qahtani. Since you interviewed him, Reese Ehrlich, in Saudi Arabia, he was sentenced to at least 10 years in prison for charges that include sedition and giving inaccurate information to foreign media. Um, can you talk about the point he made and his case? And was he imprisoned for what he had to say, his criticism of Saudi Arabia supporting fighters in Syria? Yeah, he was one of the main researchers in Saudi Arabia looking into that question. I attended a Monday night uh, seminar, if you will, of human rights activists where he delivered a talk on exactly that topic. Um, he's been uh, under uh, arrest uh, and out of jail and in jail for a while. The, it's hard to know in the opaque Saudi judicial system exactly what you're charged with or what you're convicted of, uh, other than these vague charges about uh, spreading false information to the um, international media and so on. He speaks a lot to not only to me but to other foreign reporters, and uh, they're sending him to jail as an effort to stop that information flow. It's outrageous. He was doing nothing more than what uh, an analyst uh, would do in the United States from. from uh, studying a question, looking into it, and uh, providing information to reporters. <clears throat> it's just a sign of how repressive <clears throat> the U.S. ally Saudi Arabia is.